Today, I'm gonna to explain how to automate your trading right from your phone. To do this, you'll need three things. First, you'll need to download the TradingView app and create an account if you don't already have one. Next, you'll need a MetaTrader account, which you open through your broker. Most brokers support MetaTrader and they will provide you with the credentials. In my case, the broker I use emails them to me. It's very likely that if you're interested in this topic, you already have a MetaTrader account. And finally, you'll need a Webhook Trade account, which will handle the automation. Essentially, the process works like this. You choose a strategy in TradingView, which generates buy and sell alerts. These alerts are sent to Webhook Trade, and Webhook Trade executes them in your MetaTrader, turning signals from a strategy into orders with your broker. So, as the first step, we'll connect our Webhook Trade to our MetaTrader account. Here we are on the main Webhook Trade screen. You can use the desktop or mobile version, whichever you find more comfortable. In my case, I'll be using the mobile version for this explanation. Let's go to connect with broker or MetaTrader and then connect MetaTrader account. Here you'll connect your MetaTrader account by entering your login details, like the platform, MT4 or MT5, login number, password, server, account type, and the email address you used with your broker. Then, click Connect. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna speed up the video here. And there you go, it's connected successfully. Now, let's see how to send alerts from TradingView to Webhook Trade. To do that, we'll go to the Set TradingView Alert section. Here, we'll create a message that we need to place in the TradingView Alert, which contains the details of the order the alert will create. For example, the asset or derivative to be traded. In this case, I recommend checking the symbols your broker uses, as they aren't all the same. For instance, with the broker I use, the Bitcoin versus dollar feature is BTC USD. You can leave the fields blank to let the strategy assign the values. However, you must be sure that the strategy includes those variables and that they provide correct values that are accepted by the broker, which is why I prefer to set them manually. In this case, the action the alert will trigger will be a buy or a sell, not just one or the other so I'll leave the according to strategy option selected. For the amount, MetaTrader uses lots and will set it so that each alert will trade either a buy or a sell of 0.001 lots of BTCUSD. In this example, I won't be setting any stops. And there it is. Here we can see the message generated with the information we just filled in. Now we need to put this message into our TradingView alert, so I'll copy it to use later. In TradingView, you need to find the chart for the asset you want to trade. Then, in the section down here, you'll select Indicators, and this window will pop up. This is where we'll choose our strategy. You can search among TradingView's built-in ones, or those uploaded by others in the community scripts. In this case, I'll pick one from TradingView. To do that, I'll click on Technicals, and then Strategies, not Indicators, as those don't generate alerts. To know if it's a strategy, look for this symbol next to its name. I've just picked one at random for this tutorial. If you go back to the chart, you can now see the buy and sell signals this strategy generates. Now you need to configure the alert that these signals will trigger. To do that, click here again, then on alerts, and then on the plus sign to create a new alert. Under condition, you need to select the strategy you chose earlier. You can modify the interval if you wish. Next, in the message box, this is where you'll replace the current text with the message you generated in Webhook Trade. Finally, in the Notifications section, you tell TradingView how to send the alert to Webhook Trade. You have two options here, Webhook URL, where you need to paste a link that I'll show you how to get in a moment. Or, if you have a free TradingView account, you can use the Send Plain Text option, which will send the alert to an email address provided by Webhook Trade. In my case, I'll use Webhook URL, I'll click Create Alert, and that's it. You're now automating your trading. If you were wondering where to get the URL or the email I mentioned earlier, you can find them on the same page where you created the message. So, all that's left is to monitor the results of the signals and their execution in MetaTrader. You can see all of this on the Webhook Trade dashboard. So you know the drill. If you liked this video, 
give it a like and subscribe. I'll be posting more related videos. See you next time.